Hey guys, this is Aminul. Today I'm gonna tell you which chipset is better. Is it MediaTek, Intel Atom or Snapdragon? Well, in order to find out which chipset is better among the three chipset, first we need to know how these chipsets are different from each other. Okay, now come to the MediaTek chipset. It is a Taiwanese company. It uses more cores in its processors like octa-core, hexa-core, deca-core. The MediaTek chipsets are known to be more power draining and results in less battery life. Now they are optimizing their processors to be more power efficient but still lags behind their competition in terms of battery life. Performance wise, their processors are very good. Due to the availability of extra cores, MediaTek processor can handle intensive and heavy tasks and they are very good at multitasking. But we can see all this practically if we have sufficient RAM. Yes, more cores demand more RAM to give the best performance. Now coming to the heating problem, all the processors deliver heat while performing tasks. MediaTek processor deliver more heat as compared to others. Coming to the graphics, MediaTek employs Mali Graphics which is third party graphics vendor. It is really important to match the performance of CPU and GPU so that the whole chipset perform efficiently and effectively. Now come to the Snapdragon chipset. Snapdragon chipsets are manufactured by Qualcomm American company. Snapdragon chipsets are not only just as CPUs, they incorporate other many processors in their chipset. This is the main difference between the Snapdragon and other chipsets. The Snapdragon chipsets are named as SOC that is system on chip which means their chipsets have CPU, GPU. The Snapdragon chipsets are based in terms of power efficiency compared to other chipsets. Performance wise, they perform really well in multitasking, gaming, handling heavy and intensive tasks. They are very good. Snapdragon processor generally deliver less heat as compared to MediaTek and Intel Atom. Except the Snapdragon 810 chipset that faced many heating issues. Coming to the graphics, they manufacture their own graphics called the Adreno graphics and incorporate into their chips. So here the performance of CPU and GPU are matched. Now come to the Intel Atom. Everyone is familiar with Intel processors because they are dominant in the PC market. Intel Atom processors are the initiative taken by the company to enter into the mobile segment. Intel processors are based in PCs but when it comes to the mobile market, they have faced many problems. Yes, the problem they faced in battery life, Intel company has experience in manufacturing processors for PCs which consumes power in watts, say 40 watts and above, but when it comes to the mobile platform where the processor should run on power less than 5 watts, they had a problem in optimizing their processor to work on low power. Performance wise, I think I don't need to tell you how Intel processors do. They are very good both in PC market and mobile. Okay, so Intel Atom processor also deliver more heat when running heavy and CPU intensive tasks or while using for long duration. Now come to the graphic. Intel till now use third party graphics vendors like Power VGR, Mali Graphics. Now according to me, Snapdragon is clear winner here. I have practically used smartphone which have all these three processors and telling you my answer. The smartphone that I have used are Micromax Canvas A1 which is the MediaTek processor and the Redmi Note 3 which is the Snapdragon processor and Asus Zenfone C Intel Atom processor. Thank you for watching guys. If you like this video please give the big thumb and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.